Chef Jim White here at Antelope Point doing a fun little kitchen minute. This time of year people see a lot of these what they call ristras and they take these red chilies and they string them together. A lot of people forget this is actually food folks, it's not just for decoration. Be careful, if you do actually get a ristra as a gift from somebody, a lot of times they're treated with chemicals, those are not for eating. These are the ones you want to do the eating with. But what do you do with these red chili pods? I mean, how do you turn them into food? It's real simple. You take the end and you snap it off and you pull out as many of the seeds as you can. Show you another one, they're really easy to do. Seeds out. Then you take them and you soak them in just enough water to cover them. It's not, not real hard to do. We take it from there and we're going to put it in a blender. These have been soaking. You can do it overnight, a couple of hours works great. You put it in a blender. Don't load it up too much because you want it to be able to actually move in the blender. And you're going to use just enough of that water that you soaked them in so that the pods will actually puree. So we're going to put that in there. Now if you don't use too much water, you really don't even have to thicken this, you'll see this is going to turn into a beautiful bright paste in color. Just use your regular blender and we'll pulse it. It doesn't take very long before it gets completely smooth. I won't even bother trying to talk over this blender. Okay, you can see it got kind of nice and thick and the color completely changed. Now this is the stuff that you'll see in the store, red chili paste or red chili puree. This is much better. To finish it, you put it on the stove with a little bit of salt and garlic, bring it to a boil. If you have to, you can thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch and water, and you're going to have the most wonderful for the holidays, especially the New Year's time, that red chili people love. Speaking of New Year's, we're having an incredible celebration right here at Antelope Point. You can come down here, you can have dinner, we got crab, smoked tenderloin, dancing, parties, favors, fireworks. At midnight, it's going to be unbelievable. The next day, we have a big party. This is right where they're going to be swimming for the polar plunge. you got to come down and see me. I'm Chef Jim White with today's Antelope Point. Catch you in a minute.